It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your feel good breakfast show, Expresso here at S3, and welcome to another edition of the Culinary Art Line Bling. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You must ting ting. It's important. And the thing is, today we've got a fantastic ting ting here in studio because Richard Tron is here, aka Le. Fabulous. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Shoo! My word, I'm sweating. But of course, Taste Masters, very own, renowned for a simple yet delicious baking concept here and there. The Taste Master essay gives you all these ideas, but La Riri adds a bit more culinary magic. It's not just about what we're about to make, it's about the personality within it. So please, if you've got any questions, voice note me 063 408 8863. Let me read. Hello. Uh, I have to do that all the time now, eh? It's really? Part of, believe, it's part of your you. brand. And I, I believe you. that you are. So this is a normal sized bowl for you. Yeah. But when I hold it, it just looks very groot. I It makes sense. I get it. Thank you. This is why we would sort... You know, this is why they put in the kitchen with you. So that I just have someone to look up to. But you know what? My, yeah. my, my brother in the competition, Phil. Yes, I know a short, Phil. Yeah. That's it. Hey, so you remind me of a little Phil. Thank you. Well, I'm glad I could fill that <laughs> void for you. Lariri, so uh, I'm going to let you stand here. I'm going to substitute okay. with you so you can hoi this. So in this bowl over here, which I think is groot, but you know, you got flour. Yeah. We got flour here now. Let me tell you about this. Please tell me this about This is my Nara Smith moment because I'm a very lazy <laughs> bucket. So I will buy Please. myself some dough and stuff and then yeah. use it. But this is not my Nara moment. Did you moment. mull your from own flour? From scratch, darling. From scratch. Did you make the bowl too? <laughs> I just want to know because Nara would make the bowl and, you know, and then also make chewing gum. I don't know. Let's, so let's just point. pretend I made everything. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> so now you've got the bowl and we're going to create a, a dough, of course, because this is going to be a chaka like a layered yeah. bread, right? Yeah, yeah. Which, but it looks like a cake, which I love about it. You know what? Uh, the idea came when I didn't have a loaf pan. Yes. And the only thing I had was a cake pan. And then I decided, <laughs> who said it must be in a loaf pan? Just you make see. it in a, in, a, in a cake pan. So, exactly. And, um, so you, you, you can do your yeah. thing over there. So Just tell you, me what to do when. You um, flavor your, your yes. say, meal. That's it. So hour. did you actually grind those spices yourself? Okay, please. I'm sorry, man. Please. That's right. I thought okay, you'd, you'd so this them. is your second chopped spice, and then yes. the, um, you have rice spice. You know, like real rice spice. Spice for rice? Yes. Okay, I cool. Or not to, rice made of spice. I spice decided to put the spice of rice in the okay, fantastic. flour as well, because why not? Great. And then we do some Italian herbs. That's good. Did you get them from Italy? Yeah. Okay. It just, just, just go with it. Just go with it. it. it Come now, Rob. <laughs> Let's go for it. And then what else you got in there? Uh, and then this is wah, parsley donkey. That's fabulous. Oh, look at that. The I, nose never lies. And now how you that must not need mix. Okay. That's it. I call it muddling earlier. I'm calling it to muddle again. Muddle. If you did that for a mocktail earlier, I'm going to do that. So you have to muddle the flour. Okay. And it's then just, you it's do a new baking term. The yeast. Ooh! The yeast. And then a bit of soak yeast. Because obviously a little bit of salt there, the yeast as well. Now we need to activate the yeast somehow eh? in that beautiful. And do you know what? And what, how are we going to activate it? The, with um, lukewarm water. Lukewarm. Perfect. Yeah, and these days I use a wooden spoon because ain't nobody got time for dirty well, hands. No. Well, I mean, a wooden spoon kind of takes you back a bit, honestly, if you think about As you it. Had do, you remember, do you remember the wooden spoon, what it was used for? Uh, <coughs> yeah, they, they called that the klapper van vergeleken. You know? <laughs> why, why, why did you do it? Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> I, I don't want to talk about my trauma now. This is also about your chakalaka layered cake, which we're doing to do. You know what? I'm going to make myself useful here. I've got a little pan that I think I'm going to hoi on here, and then yes. let's make something happen, man. Okay, I'm so do I need you, thing. Carl, to please yes. put the chakalaka in the pan, and in then here. you put the mushrooms as well. Mushrooms in there. And, I'll have like and then shashwa. Yes. And then I see we've got some garlic and chives. Do you want to hoi, hoi that as well? And okay, fantastic. Yeah. I'm just going to hoi. So as we do this, see this weird? This is lovely. Cooking with Lariri. Actually, I need to ask you, you have such a bold personality, and I know the Taste Master offers you a show to be on, but... Wouldn't you like to do your own show, Lariri? That's like a, your own cooking show, like proper recipes from your childhood, recipes for... With your personality, I think a show would work. I'm just going to let you know. You know what? My plan is... Yes. I've done a few reality TV shows already. A few? So, my plan was, like, just do a few. One day, they see... Someone will see you and say, ah, that one needs to be on TV. OK. You need to put him on. So, you see, I'm working with a plan here. OK, that's very good. See, so I would love to do my own cooking show one day. My um, 
Not yeah. cooking really, just uh, presenting. Just presenting? Cooking is just the love for it for my friends and family. Of course. You. But with Tastemaster now, yeah. I all of a sudden started loving baking. And that's the thing about the process, that you get into something once and then you start connecting with it, which yes. is so beautiful, which I love that. But I think that you should do a showman, like, you know, just make it easy with La Riri or something to that effect. It'd be fantastic, that. you know? I and then you that. can do all sorts of things, cooking, uh, you can do some DIY in there as well. You can and do I a bunch the, of different things. I think, Carl, my plan also is to just um, start off with my own YouTube channel. That's a great place to start, why not? And then um, take it from there. That's fantastic. So I think that's important. But I'm looking forward to the Taste Master. You know, watching your journey. Have you? Do you think the Taste Master has made you? I'm just saying a, a better chef and a better person in terms of you know the way you see concepts and the way you see recipes. Almost definitely. You know, I just wanted to find out if that that really impacted you. Most definitely. Because and the critique is actually tough to take sometimes, man. So how have you been handling that? Actually, you said um, you gave me. Beautiful advice. You said, get out of your head and into your life. I can't believe you remember that. Yes. You said oh, that and you're then... You're going to make me emotional. Stop and it. And then um, I decided, you know what? Just do it now. Get out of your head and into your life. I can't I, believe you I, took I, that I on, took some, me. Um, It means a lot to me. Oh, you yes. are such an inspiration to us in this whole competition. Well, that's so. the thing, yeah. I, 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 just wa I just want... We know what the thing is, when we see you, you know, making sure that you, you lined up your... Uh, you, as contestants, you work very hard to make sure whatever recipe yeah. you're going to provide is going to be perfect. And you know what? I can see the nerves. And me being from this space, I just wanted to impart the, the best advice I could give. Because I think a lot of people, when you are doing things that are, you know, part of your passion, yeah. sometimes you get in your head. You're like, is my passion enough? Is what I'm doing enough? And I believe that you sit in your head and you think that you can't do things, yeah. and you end up stagnating and staying there. So this is why I told you that it's important for you to, yes, get out of your head and into your life, because this was your life at the moment. It was the taste master. That's, that's it. And I think that was the most important thing for me to and impart. I, and I grew from there. I, I said to myself, now you need to yep. take it serious, because it was on a day that oh. I decided, you know, I heard so. anyone can bake. But when I was in the competition, I got, OK, for you see, this isn't child's play at all. Well, you know what? We are going to continue this recipe with the culinary hotline. And if you've got any questions, any comments, any well wishes to La Riri, please feel free. 063-408-8863. We'll make sure that this is all sorted for you by the time you return. So stay with us. You feel good, Rick. It's my feel good. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show on this gorgeous Wednesday morning. We are in the kitchen once again. The culinary hotline bling needs to continue. And of course, we've got the gorgeous, the wonderful Lariri joining us right now. We're going to continue with this little chakalaka bruiki that we've got going. And of course, we have to end off with something sweet. And uh, he comes through from Tastemaster SN. We're going to taste the goodness. We're layering it up. We've got dough at the bottom, right? Yes, and then dough on the bottom. And some then chakalaka. chakalaka in between now. So you've added mushrooms to your chakalaka. Yes, I always do that, <gasps> just to give you that extra flair. Yes. Yeah, I do understand. So, I feel like a smart man. And definitely like that chew in the mouth, right? Sing, yeah. After the chakalaka, we're going to go in with some cheese, I'm seeing, some ham. Is this cream cheese? It's cream cheese, yes. Oh, yummy. You, Delicious. You, it's basically the bread with it. It's yeah. like a, a braai yeah. You see, before you have a, 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 a nice braai, so you have mm. Appetizer, or something to nibble on before something. you, you know. Yes. Okay, so now we go in with the ham. Okay, cool. And we just layer the ham as well. Layering the ham down on top of the chakalaka. Yes. And if you want any of these steps, of course, you know, it's going to be found on expressoshow.com. And you're going to want to make this because if you can smell what we are smelling in this kitchen, it would be a no-brainer. So we're layering <laughs> on the ham on top of the chakalaka, on top of the dough. And then, of course, we've got to get into some cheese and action. Some cheese. Everything is better with cheese. But listen, we've got a voice note that we've got to listen to. Lindell got in touch uh, saying something, asking something. Let's find out. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lindell. I would like to say to La Riri, mm -hmm. wow, you made my morning this morning. Mm -hmm. I woke up this morning and um, switched on the TV as per usual. And then I was looking at the inset where you started speaking oh. and uh, you made me smile. Wow, oh, you've you. got such a vibrance mm -hmm. about you. And wow, that, that pot brewet, it looks very, very good. Oh, I wish you well. 
Uh, but oh, most of all, I would like to say thank you, man. You made my day today. Oh. Have a fantastic day for the guys. Oh, oh Thank you, Linda. Oh. You can hear that he literally just woke up to, like, put that forward. Love oh, that. That's beautiful. And the vibrance you carry is definitely what you carry in the food. The personality is there. And the heart is there, I think, most yes, importantly. Sure. Because we're cooking from home to your screens to our kitchen. I love this. Shall we end off here? Because the yes. finished product looks absolutely gorgeous. we got to make something sweet, though, don't we? Definitely. Really? Girl, this is Some my chocolate. thing. I'm so that. this goes into the oven Tell me for 45 more. minutes. Yes. And that's it till golden brown. And mm -hmm. then... You take it out, you okay. serve it warm, and you eat it with the Ooh, cream cheese. the cream cheese. cheese. Yes. Well, moving from one dairy to the next, we've got to get involved with some chocolate, but we're kind of keeping it healthy because we've got berries to go along with it. Strawberries, blueberries, what are these? Some sort of nuts? Some sort of nuts. nuts. Now, this is my... Because the hustle and bustle of life these yeah. days is way too busy. Mm -hmm. So you think, oh, crack of the hand, slave era for a stuffy. So you're going to buy yourself some store-bought... Pizza dough, okay. back form, mm. and all that you can do. You can and it's me normal Engel. pizza dough. There's nothing normal special here. Normal pizza dough. Okay. Um, and you can do any chocolate. Also. Okay, so you can we start with this, this one. Yeah. Got you there. Yes, we are a little lacquer. Can I, can I put it on thick, though? You can, my darling. The more chocolate, the, the better. The better. That's oh, why you're talking about language. <laughs> I love it. And this is a chocolate pizza. You've heard of many variations of pizza, but have you ever had some of this? Yes, and then you can also decide to do little shapes and stuff with your pizza dough. Okay. Make it in a to a heart. Oh, um, bring the family in. Yes. Bring the kids in. I was going to say, um, this is a nice little like kids' activity, family yeah. activity, Father's Day activity. Yes. That's happening that you can on do Sunday. With your kitties and everything. And that's oh, I it. Love. it smells so <gasps> good. Okay. Oh. And then we just go crazy. And then you go crazy. Okay. Put I'm on thinking, your... mm, I'm going to make like a little smiley face. <gasps> I'm going to make a heart. Okay. <laughs> We're going to be cute with it. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Well, these blueberries are firm and beautiful. Uh, now tell me, Lariri, I've got a question about this chocolate, right? Okay. When you put chocolate in the oven, especially when it looks like this, doesn't it burn? It burns, my darling, but you put it in, literally, I'm going to put this in, like, for two minutes just to get it nice and warm, you oh, see. So I you see. bake your dough first and okay. then just two minutes in, yes. and that's it. Okay, so the dough is baked a bit beforehand, yeah, so you know that exactly. that's Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's a great tip. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I'm so impressed. I'm trying to redeem myself from my mocktail because that didn't go so well. You know I what I mean? I think it went well. Did you? I you must it taste it well. and let me know. Oh, cute. She's spreading the love. Uh, because you gave me some, and I'm going to continue. Ta da! <laughs> I want to add a strawberry too. Let me chop her up. Okay. Blueberry. Are we going to taste this? We can. Okay, good. So we've seen you on Taste Master. That was absolutely wonderful. And we're going to continue watching your journey grow. What else is next for Lariri? I heard something about a YouTube channel you were telling Carl. I want to start my own YouTube yeah. channel as mm. well. But I think the, the most important thing that is now next for yeah. Lariri is basically Mr. Gay Nation South Africa. Yes. That competition is very important to me mm. so that we can... Um, um, Promote yeah. inclusivity, yes. diversity, yes. love for yes. all. Because you my city We need it. Die my, die my is not by a close by. Oh, good goodness. Listen, we've got a way to go and every contribution definitely matters. But I can't wait to see you taking over the digital space on YouTube. We've got to see it. Do you know what your name would be for your channel? I don't know, something like Library Scalicious Bakes or something. Oh, wow. And then someone said to me, why must it be guest? Like, because I am. I am. <laughs> what are you saying? Come on. Now. I forgot about this. Sugar. A little sugar, sugar. And that's it, little basically. Sweet, little nice, a little bit of a. You know, oh. a little moment over there. Try it, <laughs> try it, it girl. Thank you. Well, if Lirini says it, then I believe it. Expressoshow.com, we've got to give these a try. Uh, I don't really want to ruin it because look at mine. The design is so cute. You know, it looks Beautiful. like a big pancake. That's actually what's going on here. And it's going to taste just as good. Can't wait for it. And all the best for Thank you so Mr. Much. Gay National. Thank I can't you. wait to see you dominate and win. I'm going to give you a slice of mine. <gasps> you give me a slice of yours. There cheers! Yes, Larry, cheers to that. Oh. Mm. Oh. I feel like the guys are missing out on this. I don't know if we should invite they them. They can come over. Maybe invite them. Come oh. now. No, Graham, you stay there. But sharing <laughs> is caring. <scared of> <laughs>